Hey, what's up YouTube? I want to jump on real quick and follow up on my last video. As you can hear, I got devices all over beeping at me. Uh, my Dexcom, which is on my arm right here. <laughs> I have three devices beeping at me right now. Uh, my Dexcom's expiring in less than 30 minutes. That was that first beep. Second beep is, this is my new pump that uh, got delivered and it's beeping because I plugged it in and it doesn't have any insulin connected to it. Uh, there's no cartridge or anything and so it's being like, give us insulin. Um, and my phone also just beeped because Dexcom's expiring. So I'm changing my insulin pump site as well. So all, everything's getting changed. New site, new Dexcom, and new actual pump. So lots going on, but I want to walk through uh, the process of setting up a pump, just the basics, um, because I know it can be a scary thing. And uh, I actually waited a couple days to do this change because I was worried that if I did it before my Dexcom expired, that I would lose my Dexcom readings and therefore I would lose basal IQ. I don't know if that's accurate, but I didn't want to risk it. And uh, cause I've been going kind of a little bit low during the last few nights. So I was like, you know what, let's just play it safe. So uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna grab this paperwork they gave me, read off the instructions, and then I'll kind of walk you through what I did. So um, first step was make sure you have the settings saved. So your, your basal, your bolus, your max bolus, your insulin on board, all those settings make sure they're saved. You plug it into your computer, you save it there, or you can write it down yourself. I also took pictures of it. I wanted to have three different versions of it because I don't want to lose those pieces of data. They're very important. Second is I had to, uh, once I have my settings saved, I had to deactivate my old pump from my account so it wouldn't upload old stuff, I guess. Uh, starting the new pump, it says remove the pump from the shipping thing, which was this in the last video, if you saw that. Uh, pulled the pump out, plugged it in, and uh, once I plugged it in, it was at 95% automatically, and right away started beeping at me, and uh, now it's at 100, I unplugged it, and I'm ready to go. I'm going to input my, um, my settings, but I noticed when I first turned it on, it had kind of a setup and welcome screen, so I wanted to put that on camera and show you guys what I'm seeing. So I'm going to try to clear out, I should have done this before, huh? I'm going to clear out a little space so I can show you guys what I'm doing and um, we'll go from there. So first up is to pull up my pump screen and I am going to figure out how to finagle this camera so it looks good. Um, hmm. We're gonna reset. I don't know if you guys can hear this thing going off still but it is, uh, it is ready to have some insulin. Let's go ahead, actually this is the uh, paper I was talking about with the steps on what to do. So you can read that if you're curious and uh, pause the video, I guess, so we can get right back to this. When I do open this up, as you can see, it's uh, got some alarms, no insulin. It's got some other alarms set as well. I don't like that beep. I'm gonna have to switch that. So here we go. Welcome to Tandem Diabetes. Looks like it's a little bit blurry on the screen. Let's see if I can adjust that. Maybe not. Oh, I want you guys to be able to read this. Here we go. So, welcome to Tandem Diabetes. Insulin on board and max hourly bolus are currently set to zero. Your CGM graph is currently inactive. Aha, see that's what I was worried about. Gonna hit start, and uh, looks like we're right off the bat. So it's zero insulin uh, on board, zero time remaining, and uh, that means it's inaccurate because I just ate lunch. So I need to keep in mind that I do actually have insulin on board, and uh, that's gonna have to be in my head for the next three hours. So what we're gonna do, Go to options, there is no insulin, so I can't do that. I'm gonna go into my pump, personal profiles, hit new, I'm gonna call it what I want. Uh, we'll just call it, it's already called profile one, so we'll, we'll just call it profile one. Press to set up. So here we go, we got basil at midnight. See at 12 a.m. up there, if I wanted to change the time. Nope, can't change it yet. And if you hit it three times and it doesn't do anything, it locks the screen. So, we got our basal, press to set up, correction factor, press to set up, carb ratio, press to set up, target blood glucose. Man, I am beeping like crazy. My apologies, but you guys get it, so I don't have to apologize. Uh, target blood glucose, press to set up. So, um, I would go through those in, in a second, but um, my devices are just crying out for attention right now. Um, so I'm going to go through and do this on my own. What I don't want to do is have you compare your carb ratios and basal ratios and all that kind of stuff to mine. So I'm actually not going to put those in on video, but um, that's how you would set up your basal, your bolus, all that kind of stuff. 
your bolus settings. I'm actually gonna go in here and adjust this. I have, through testing, I found that my insulin duration is about three hours. So I'm gonna put that in, three hours. This varies person to person, okay? I think it's still kind of blurry, there we go. Um, person to person, that will change. Some people have four, some people have five. Uh, when I was first diagnosed, they told me two. And uh, so, you know, it's gonna have to be tested on your own. We talk about how to test that in our programs. It's, it's pretty easy once you figure it out. Max bolus is how much this pump will allow you to bolus at one period of time. So if I have it set at 10, and uh, I'm eating a big meal and it requires 11, it will notify me and say, hey, uh, your max bolus is 10, we can't do that. And so what I like to do, my personal preference, so I have it set at 11, because I never have more than 11 units on board. Um, <laughs> I guess that gives you an idea of my carb ratio. It's, uh, I, get, I eat a lot of carbs. Carbohydrates on. In order to use carbohydrates for entering boluses, a carb ratio must be defined. Ooh, good to know. So I'm gonna have to go back here. Whoops, I don't wanna exit, I wanna save first. There we go. I'm gonna have to set this up in order to set those carb ratios, or right, in order to have carbohydrates turned on, okay? So, uh, hopefully you can read this now. Looks like it's clear. Press to set up. I would have to set up the carb ratio specifically in order to be able to set uh, those carbs on. I'm gonna go back and uh, I'm just, I'll figure out that later. <laughs> but um, you can go into pump settings, alert settings, if you wanna be alerted on like pump alerts when you, your auto off. I think I had that set at 16 hours because if you don't use your pump, it bugs the crap out of you at 12 hours. Um, auto off, these are settings that I'll have to go in and, and just kind of tweak on my own, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what this looks like. Low insulin, 20 units, that means that at 20 units, it alerts me and says, hey, you got 20 units left. You better have uh, some spare insulin laying around somewhere, which is good to have. Oops, we're gonna save that. Pump alerts, that's what we just had. Pump reminders. Low BG, if you are uh, going low, if you want your pump to remind you of that or to alert you of that. Same with high blood sugar, if you want it to tell you, hey, you're high, and start beeping at you. Uh, I choose to have those off because my Dexcom catches those. If you have your after bolus, blood glucose, your missed meal bolus, these are all different options that you can tweak on your own. There's pump info, which has your serial number in it, and uh, pump settings, so you can get your time. Quick bolus, I don't like to use that, but that's a personal preference. Pump volume, you know what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change all of these. I think all of you I'm gonna switch over to vibrate or just turn them off. Um, you got your screen options. Once I have my Dexcom set up in there, I'm gonna have that on the screen as well. Um, yeah, time and date, make sure that's accurate. Looking at 240, it is actually 325 right now, so I'm gonna to have to change that. I'll just do that right now, why not? I don't think they have military time as an option, so I'm just gonna to have to go with that. 3.25 p.m. looks good. And the date, that is also incorrect. You guys get to see what date I filmed this on. Ooh, uh, let's see, what day is it today? It is August 1st. It's gonna be a couple days later when I upload this, so just know that. Okay, um, that's the basics, really. We got most of it set up. I can't resume insulin because there is nothing. My CGM, I'm gonna have to uh, input a transmitter ID, and once that's in there, it should kick back in, because right now it's on my other pump, which let's see if I can reach on the camera with it. There we go. I'm gonna put this cool case around it too. Hey, you can see me in the reflection. What's up? Um, so, that's how you get the CGM set up. If you go down here, if I wanted to put a temp rate, that's where I put it. Uh, currently, I actually have a temp rate of 105%, so just 5% extra, but that's just me tweaking my basal settings. Load, if I want to change my cartridge, pump history, CGM history, basal IQ, I want that on. Um, I, you can choose to have it alert you if you wish, but I don't because typically when basal IQ is going on, it's either during exercise or during sleep, so not a big deal for me to know that it's working. I just like that it does work in the background. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to cover the basics and you guys know how to use bolus. Typically, 
Um, this screen is actually my CGM graph and not bolus options. These are down here because I have it hooked up to my Dexcom, which is going to expire in three minutes. So I am gonna turn this video off and work on changing my site, my pump, and my Dexcom. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what else you wanna see and uh, keep up the fight.